Plants on building facades have become a symbol of sustainability, but the real question is technical. Do they actually work or are just green imagery? Because for decades cities were built as mineral systems, so lots of concrete, glass, steel and this complete separation from nature. So green facade emerged as an attempt to correct this model, bringing vegetation back to surfaces that were previously inert. But not all green facades are the same. Simple climbing plants have low cost and low structural impact, then we have living walls that require complex irrigation and constant maintenance and then we have the vertical forest which are something else entirely so we have trees we have deep soil we have reinforced structures also and this changes everything in terms of cost carbon and maintenance and technically vegetational green facades works very well to reduce urban heat islands so this region will be better it will provide shading as well it will lower surface temperatures by up to 30 degrees celsius and also improve thermal comfort and urban microclimates and of course we reduce the demand for air conditioning as well well, so here operational efficiency is real, but we have a structural problem because the issue appears before the plants even grow. And to support these trees in height, buildings will require significantly more concrete and steel. So this creates a high level of embodied carbon in architecture. And in many cases, it takes decades for energy savings to offset this initial impact. So these systems are only viable in high-end developments with specialized maintenance also, or through strong urban and fiscal incentives. So so in practice, this concentrates environmental benefits in elite areas and also can accelerate green gentrification. So guys, vertical forests are not useless, but they are also not a universal solution. So they function as climate adaptation tools and not as a simple answer to the environmental crisis because efficiency depends on structure, materials, maintenance and also urban context.